The reason why journey is important is I come from Kenya. We are from many tribes, actually. And uh, if this idea of journey can spread very well, especially where I come from, East Africa, there are so many conflicts of tribe fighting. So if we create something like Jen, uh, people from different tribes coming, living together, this will help them develop trust, friendship, and uh, peace will prevail among the tribes in the, in the region. So that's another way of bringing peace, stability in East Africa. And uh, that's also my main vision. My dream, I used to dream of the same dream that always has been coming on to my life. I used to dream that I go to the garden, when I dig, I get a carrot. So I thought it was a childish dream. But uh, when I grown up, I was like in class eight education. I dreamed the same, I had the same dream. So I knew there was something about it. And actually in my life, I wanted to see everything green. So uh, the best way to go was like uh, to study about nature. Because I love trees, I love birds, I love animals. and everything. So I decided to join my, my sustainable agriculture course in Kenya. The reason why I came here, I knew there are some people who are actually living in the community already. They have started, they know the challenges. They know how to create the structure. So they, I could learn from them, how do they create this structure? How do they live? And I uh, also help to network on some difficult issues that are facing the eco-villages. I'm looking forward to know more people, what they are doing. There are so many intellectuals here, uh, visionaries, which I hope to learn a lot from them. There is a saying in our tribe that says, bent a fish when he's still young, you know. And I came to realize that this is the perfect opportunity for us. Before we go too far, it's good to come back and live in a community the way we, our great-grandparents used to live. And uh, because we are, we are living for the future, it's like a hunter, you can't go in the forest without a spear. We are going for the future, so we need to prepare to live for the future and to be an example for our other generation to come. But going back to my life, people are living also in the communal way, cooking together. But now when I see, I see everybody separated. So there is need to originate back to the source where we came from. And when I travel here, I saw the people working day and night so that they can create a community. Wow, it really touched my heart and it actually takes me to high level to think, what should I do? In Kenya, I have a project. I teach permaculture education. I have a center that I hope to expound it. So my future dream, I was thinking also a community. So that's, that's my pipe of dream. I'm looking forward for more time to come. That uh, project is going to grow, even though I'm not going to be there. And I want to share my knowledge with the multitudes who are not informed about this great sustainable agriculture, so that they can be able to grow food to feed themselves, as far as to live with, with peace with the nature. You know, uh, in my town, people, long time, they are using chemicals, binding crop residues. But all this can be reversed if people get appropriate information. And uh, that's what we are working and make sure that everybody is able to protect the environment. And me, I personally, actually, I want to make my life as, as a splendid torch in that I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before I can hand it to the next generation.